through it, all right? So uh, this is our knowledge major group, and uh, today we're talking about uh, Python chess number. And so uh, you know, it's hard to see on this screen, there is a curriculum. <laughs> but uh, but uh, you can go here, and here is the documentation of how the library works. And uh, it's been actively maintained. So it's a version 26 already. So there, there's some guys that are in coding Germany uh, to build uh, all the basic uh, stuff to make Python work in chess. So I hope you're surprised to see that. So, so then what I did was. Um, I uh, built my first chess program, which is in, the, in my GitHub here, which uh, randomly selects battle groups. You just keep changing back and forth. And it's actually, uh, the funny part is it plays this terrible chess that sometimes you don't know what to do because it's so so weird. You get into such strange board configurations that you have no idea what to do. I, I was actually playing and I realized I had checkmate one move. I was like, how did that happen? I had never seen uh, that bad in chess move. <laughs> and so I've never seen them lose chess that fast. So, so that wasn't that interesting. But then what I did is I built the called the Better Chess program, which is the, it's called Better Chess actually. And what it does is it goes through all of the legal rules and breaks them down into all the interesting information, like what's from a square or two square. But then what it does is it calculates these values that put up on the screen. Uh, the risk factor, what, uh, what is the cost if this piece is lost? Uh, the board factor is a better board position. Uh, the king factor is better if it's the king. If generally, you want in the beginning of the game to rush towards the center. But if you're the king, you want to run the center. Uh, so I've only been to put this from the mid game. Uh, so if you get to the end game, there's other strategies. But, uh, and then uh, I have a value for exchanging pieces. And then support, so when you move a piece, doesn't have any other pieces of backing it up. In other words, if you move a piece and you're flapping in the wind, uh, that, that's not as good as having one of your own back up on your piece. And so I calculated all this. And I was able to do this in about 300 lines of Python. And that went, you know, and it was all of that in about 300 lines. And so, so it was uh, an issue. Now, what I don't have is I don't have. An exchange tree or a min max tree. So I'm not going through I just I look for one because the, uh, the library allows you to actually advance it and advance the game and have to be back up. So I can go forward with a chess move, see how bad it was, and then fall back and tell me about it. And so that's how I've done a lot of the uh, coding for this. So that's how I do it. And so, uh, so what I'm doing right now is I want to take all those factors and say, Using the Monte Carlo reading algorithm and try to rebalance them all and get some perfect values for all of them. And then create a you know, 400 line chess program that seems to play great in chess. That's, uh, and so that is, uh, uh, and this is our demo here. So it's Emmanuel Lester who's a uh, just came by and he made this chess set for him. This is the Emmanuel Lester, more of a computer chess program that was on let me uh, now switch to uh, PyCharm. And I have to apologize already that I did not spend any time on the. Uh, and I didn't spend any time on, uh, on the uh, UI. <laughs> and so here is the uh, here is the chess program right here. You can see I've got up to 440 lines for uh, for good chess. But anyway, uh, and this one has the additional change that it saves and writes the values to this and up on. So if I, now all I have to do is write the code and start training them, and then I will save them and so now I can to run them. And then so they will persist. So, but we will uh, run this uh, really lousy program now that's based immediately on chess. And what it does is, here's the chessboard, which is all characters again, and it has decided to move um, B2 to B4, so we'll actually max that at B2 uh, to B4. Over here on the uh, computer chessboard. And uh, 
So now what you do is you put your own in here, and you'll see I'm already calculating all of the possible differential. And our computer says go to E7, E5, and that's right here. You can see we rated that as a four, uh, but you'll notice that we have a better move here, <laughs> according to its logic. That I even as a limited skill check player know that that's the wrong move. <laughs> but, <clears throat> But that is where it's coming from. So we will go and do the same move on this on up. Now, our chess program now has gone uh, to G1, F3. And G1 is A, B, C, D, G. So that would be G1 to F3, which is there. And uh, so this one also tells you what it should be. And then uh, this one is now, and so, I, so that we're seeing is we're now playing two computer programs against each other. And so it's, uh, so you can see we're uh, uh, not doing too bad that we are actually seen to be playing real chess. So that's, that was the whole battle. I keep playing chess for you, you all want to play <laughs> other stuff, but yeah. Why do you want to sit here and restart this and play chess? That's the cold war. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we'll bring this to a close. And that's, so, mm -hmm. our, so what our intent is to uh, do the machine learning part to change all those values so that we can start having this chess program start picking better moves against this. Yeah. And how we'll do that is uh, the chess library allows you to read uh, EGN files, which are copies. Text files or games in the format that you can actually read them. So people uh, save games in PGN. So if you want to go use your chess computer programs, you can suck in the PGN version of the Bobby Fisher Greatest Game, and then uh, you'll see if you can get the right moves. I think so. And so we can do that to some degree with training. But that's where we're headed for. Right? Okay. okay. So that's where we're headed for. So we'll be training the program soon. So that's all. Thank you.